This is Alex Fitton for First Round Media. And once again, I'm delighted to be joined by Brad Bray uh, on Fight Week. Brad, thanks for joining me, mate. How are we? Yeah, I'm good, mate. I'm good. I'm excited. It's finally here, mate. Well, nearly touching distance now. So just got to get through this week and then it's go time Saturday. Yeah, all good, mate. You know, just a couple of days out, like you say. Um, how are you feeling and how's camping leading up to this fight? Yeah, I've had a really, really good camp, mate. Um, you know, I'm, I'm excited to to be back in my hometown boxing and on such a massive, massive platform. Um, you know, in, in Manchester, in the arena that, you know, I, I, I've grew up going to, watching boxing. And, you know, uh, I'm really looking forward to it. You know, it's a massive, massive stage to be able to show what I can do. Yeah. No, I, I imagine that, you know, when you're a couple of months out from a fight, you know, you're in like preparation mode, aren't you? And you're just starting camp. Uh, now it's, you know, we've entered fight week. Do you feel any like nerves at all coming on, you know, leading up to the fight or is it all just, you know, cool, calm and collective? Yeah, I'm not really a nervous, nervous person. You know, I, I more enjoy it. Um, you know, a, a little bit fight night for the big fights. And I think maybe for this one, because of the occasion and just the magnitude of it, how big it is. Um, but, you know, I, I'm excited. I'm excited. This is what all the hard work's for. So, you know, I just go out there and enjoy myself. Yeah, all good. You know, your opponent as well, you know, Craig McCarthy. Um, have you watched any of his fights back yet? You know, what do you, what do you make of him? Yeah, so um, my team have actually been up against McCarthy before. Um so his draw against Chris Blaney. Chris Blaney was an old hand boxer. So my head coach Blaine and Ricky were, were in his corner that night. So, you know, they've seen him up close and personal. I was at the fight. I watched the fight. Um, you know, solid fighter, southpaw, undefeated, doesn't know how to lose. He's coming to win. Um, and, you know, he, he'll see this as his, his chance on, on the big stage. You know, he's never been on a big show like this before. Um, and, you know, I, I think if he comes out all excited and, and a bit giddy, you know, um, you know, I, I'll clip him. Um, and I hope he does. You know, I hope he comes for a fight. I hope he comes and puts it on me because, you know, it'll play into my hands. Yeah. Um, you know, your last fight, your last fight against Jez Smith, you know, that was an absolute war. Um, you know, Defo, I think a fight of the year contender. Um, can you know what kind of fight can fans be expecting? You know, on Saturday, is it going to be similar? Or obviously, I know you don't want to give too much away, like, but yeah, you know, it was a great fight with Jez, great fight with Jez. I enjoyed every second of it. Um, and you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show a little bit more of what I've got in the locker. You know, uh, I've shown him my last two fights has been. You know, a one round demolition job, it shows, you know, I've got that spy, I've got that killer instinct. I've had, you know, an eight round war with Jez Smith, um, which, you know, shows I've got, you know, I, I can bite down on my gum shield and, and I can I, I can have it out when I need to. Um, but there's just so much more to the game that I've got to offer and, you know, plan on plan on showing just a little bit of that on Saturday night. Um you know, if Craig comes once a war, you know, uh, when that, that Manchester Arena crowd gets on the feet and, you know, starts cheering us on, I'll be more than happy to oblige. And, you know, we, if we want to have it out, let's have it out. But I just feel like I'm going to have an answer for him um, in every department. However he comes, you know, I'm going to have an answer for it and be, and be one better than him. Yeah, obviously being, you know, a local Manchester lad, I'm sure you've been waiting for that, you know, ever since you've started boxing, this has been the moment that you're waiting for, you know, being in the, you know, um, well, AO arena it is now, but, you know, full. Um, how important is this, you know, fight for you and, and fighting in Manchester? Oh, it's unbelievable, mate, to be on this show and to be on, it's it, it's where, you know, I, I fell in love with boxing, going to watch boxing at Manchester Arena, you know what I mean? Following the likes of Andy Crawler and stuff. Um so it means the world to me. And, you know, if when I started out my career, someone could have asked me, if I fight at any venue in the world, where would it be? It'd be a sold out Manchester Arena. And, yeah. um, you know, depending on where I am on the card, you know, it looks like I'm going to get a chance to do that. Um, obviously, top tier is open as well. You know, it's it just very rarely done for the boxing. Um, 
So it's going to be some night and hopefully, you know what, all, all the crowd can get behind me uh, as a local lad. And, you know, hopefully it'll be the, it won't be the last time I'm there. You know, hopefully we'll have many more nights to come at the arena. Yeah, no, definitely. I think, you know, that will will be the case. Um, you know, you fought on a lot of big cards, haven't you, before you fought on, you know, Lawrence Coley's card, Huey Fury's card. But I think this is, you know, it's fair to say this will be the biggest event you've been a part of. Um, I think... The original, you was originally supposed to be on the the Eubank Williams fight, weren't you? Um, obviously, yeah. So I, Sorry, I, I was originally supposed to be on the December uh, Eubank Williams that got pulled. I think it was a week and a half before the fight. Um, so I'd done all the hard work, you know, and it and it was and it was really disheartening. Um, but you know, I just carried on through, um, taking over, and I kind of. I, I knew that this Manchester show was coming up and, um, you know, a lot of people were saying, oh, well, you know, you've ended up on a better show, but the plan was I was supposed to be on both. I was supposed to be on Eubank Williams in December and then uh, Manchester Arena in Feb, um, which obviously didn't end up happening. But, you know, everything happens for a reason and I'm here now and I'm ready to put on a show Saturday night. Yeah, I was going to ask, you know, if, if it was the choice between, you know, one of two, if someone's, for example, come up to you and said, you can either go on the Williams Eubank card or you can either go on the Cam Brook card, what would your choice be? That's a no-brainer, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. That's a no just for Just for the fact that it's at the arena, just for the fact that it's in the hometown, you know, I've not boxed in Manchester for pushing on two years now. Um, obviously, with the pandemic and COVID and everything going on. So, you know, it's... Yeah, obviously that last fight against Jeff Smith was in Newcastle and I had a good, good travelling crowd who come up to support me. But, you know, it's going to be different on, on Saturday night and can't wait to get that feeling again, you know, when, it, when I hear the hear the crowd start making some noise and, you know, I'll, I'll no doubt I'll get excited and what I'll put a show on. Yeah. Uh, and on to, on to the main card itself, you know, Cam versus Brook. Um, you know, I can't do an interview with, with you and not ask you this question, but, you know, how do you see that going? Are you a team Cam or a team Brook? You know, I've been I've been changing my mind every day <laughs> I think since the day the fight's been announced. Um, at first, I was nailed on Khan. Then I was convinced Brook was going to knock him out. And I think, I think now it's fight week. I'm back. To Khan, I think maybe a points decision. I think maybe he, even though they both are, you know, a little bit past the best, not the fighters they were. I still think a slow Khan is still very, very fast, and it'll still yeah. be a hand for Brook. So I think if Brook has slowed down that much, it, it we'll see it. And um, but then again, they say the last thing to go is your power, and you know, Brook's always had a punch on him, and. You know, Khan's not the best at taking shots, so it's exciting. It can go so many different ways, which I think why people are so invested in it. Yeah, no, what a fight it'll be. And, um, you know, lastly, Brad, you know, considering everything does go to plan on Saturday and you get the win, um, where are you looking to go from there and, and what plans have you got uh, for 2022, what you're trying to, you know, achieve in, in that year? Yeah, really what I start pushing on this year. I um, feel like last year was a bit of a breakout year, you know, People started talking about me. People started t- uh, sitting up and taking note. But I feel like this year, you know, what a what from a from a name in the heart for titles, get myself in the title mix. Um, that English title is, is the goal for me. So I think a couple more rounds under my belt, longer distance rounds, and then you know, back end of the year, start looking at that English title. Yeah. Perfect, mate. You know, again, as always, massive thanks for the chat, mate. It's been a pleasure. Um, you know, best of luck on Saturday. I've got my ticket, so, you know, I'll be there cheering you on. And, um, yeah, hopefully catch up after the fight, mate.